We are back. Get in there. Oh, ladies and gents, it is the big day. We are back on the sacred soil of Cumbria. Oh, I'm absolutely buzzing. You know what? I am buzzing, but at the same time, I don't feel like the past few months have been overly prohibitive for myself at least. And that's all down to the fact I've been very lucky to live where I do. And I've thoroughly enjoyed exploring the Lancaster district and I've just really got stuck into it. Um, now, with that being said, I ain't just going to come back up to the fells and forget about it. I am invested in my local area now, and um, today that continues, to be honest. Yes, I'm in Cumbria, and yes, I'm excited about that, but I'm still proper close to Morecambe Bay. For anybody that knows the area, um, I'm really close to a small little um, town called Grange over Sands. Um, so yeah, really close to home. I'm hiking up to a fell called Hamps Fell, which I've never been up. It's another one of them, like I've been, so mu uh, been doing so much recently close to home. Just found a little hill, a little mound on the Ordnance Survey maps and just figured, let's just go up. We've got this beautiful little track you can see here that's taken us up through some deciduous woodland. <sighs> and let's see what the evening gives to us. What a treat. So no pressure, who knows what's going to happen. Hopefully we'll get the camera out at some stage, <sighs> but we'll wait and see. But it's nice to be back. It is nice to be back, I must admit. Get in. <sighs> We're set up guys, we are set up for what is going to be the first photograph in Cumbria for a good few months now and I'll tell you what, it's going to be rubbish, <laughs> I have to be honest, it's not going to be the best but it means a lot to me to be here right now with my camera and along those same lines I want to talk about um, conditions really um, now I've noticed there's a little bit of a theme to this YouTube channel and to what we've been talking about a lot recently that ultimately my goal is to inspire you beginners especially to just get out with your camera no matter what the hurdles are whether it's like oh, I don't think my gear is good enough so what just get out with your camera or if it's uh, the location, you know, I don't know if this particular location's got much to offer. Just get out with your camera, that's what it's all about. And today I want to talk about conditions along those same lines. Now, I remember when I used to live in New Zealand and I was obsessed with sunsets. I wouldn't go out, you wouldn't see, you wouldn't see me out with my camera unless there was um, a promising sunset forecast. And there's times when I'd finish work and I'd look at the weather forecast on my phone and I'd think, nah, it's, it's not worth going out this evening. And it makes me cringe to think that now, you know. Um, yes, there are desirable conditions to be out with our cameras, you know, and not just sunsets. Um, for me, I've fallen in love with moody skies, drama, you know, um, not to mention sunrises and golden hours and all that fog in the woodland, that sort of thing. But it, it, it doesn't really mean anything if you think about it, um, because ultimately, two or three things, ultimately it's about being out with your camera, you know? It's not about getting the shot, it's about being out, immersing yourself in landscape photography. You've got your bag, you've got your flask of cough cough, you know, you've got your camera, obviously, your tripod, and just getting stuck in. Secondly, practice. The more you're out, the better you're gonna get, obviously. And um, another thing is as well, today is a great example because it's just terribly uninspiring, but if I was to go out tomorrow and the conditions were unreal, then of course then I've got this, like, this boring day to compare that all to, you know, so it's going to be even better. So I hope that makes sense. It's proper simple, but it's ultimately just, just get out with your camera, man. Just get out with your camera and enjoy those boring conditions and just make something of it. Um, so this shot, proper simple, see I've just been walking up this pathway here and uh, it's another one where the path kind of leads deeper into the forest we've got this really nice section of twisted oak trees here on the left hand side which is my focal point I focus on the oak trees and they lean from left to right 
into the pathway, which ultimately takes us into um, a lot of these green, mossy um, limestone boulders, which I absolutely love. I, I speak about them a lot when I'm in my local area. They are fantastic. Um, and that's that. It's a pretty boring composition, to be honest. The tripod's necessary because I'm shooting at, what we at here? One one sixth of a second. Um, in fact, it's a one second exposure. F8, ISO 100, two second timer. And this is the first image. What we at now? Four months or something? First image in about four months in Cumbria. Living the dream. So these are some of the things I've been missing about Cumbria and the Lake District. Right here, look at these beautiful crags here. Not the telegraph pole. <laughs> we've got them in Lancashire, don't worry. Uh, we've got the crags as well, but I don't know. They're just so quintessential Lake District and the lone dotted trees and of course the incredible vistas that we're gonna get, that sort of thing. Oh, it's just, it's just there's something going on. It's got a feel to it, hasn't it? Oh man, I've missed this place with all my heart. Um, so although I don't know this location, hopefully we will get some of those beautiful vistas back towards the Lake District National Park proper, let's say. Um, of course, I'm talking about the conditions. They're not ideal. I don't even know if we're going to be able to see anything. Um, but I've got a rough idea of the geography of the area. And I'm assuming that's what we're going to get. Fingers crossed. Um, I need to get a bit of a wobble on because we've probably only got about an hour of daylight left, to be honest. But this is this is... Oh, this is cracking, honestly. I've missed this place so much. And I know I say it in jest, but honestly, just walking on the soil just oh, gives me a feeling. I don't know. So there's a bit of a crossroads here. Look at this here. How cool is that? Some of these crags down here and then this tree. Can I make some of this? Oh, wow, that is so cool. I've got to try and get the camera out here, even though it's getting, it's getting dark. Right, I'm going to have a look. <laughs> oh, so it's a bit tricky, to be honest, guys, only because I've left it too late. I haven't got much time. I am going to grab a photograph here, um, but I've come up. I was back down there when I spoke to you a second ago. There's that beautiful tree, and oh, it's absolutely glorious. But look at this. Get a look at this for glorious. Um, just a beautiful little scattering of these rocks here, which, uh, incidentally, th these kind of things remind me more of the Peak District and um, you know the forest of Boland and Moorlandy areas but either way they're absolutely gorgeous and this is probably just a bit of a scouting shot to be honest because I just know that off in the background there um, if the conditions allowed it we would be getting some really nice vistas back towards the Lake District and some of the fells but I'm going to grab this now just as a little bit of a snapshot um, it's not going to be the best I'm just going to focus on there we go I'll just focus on him and that'll do me and I mean, step to the right a bit. I don't like that tree creeping on the right hand side. Um, let me just refocus. And that's pretty much the composition there. I must admit, since before, a little bit of detail has come in the sky, which is fantastic. So I'm going to turn vibration, re uh, vibration reduction on. Let's see what shut speeds we're playing with here. One third. So one thirteenth is my limit. Let's go to F. Again, if I really wanted to get a you know, a proper photograph here, I'd use a tripod, but this'll do. So there are my settings there. Grab that now. Two seconds time is still on, that's a bit annoying. <laughs> um, there we go. And you can see there the histogram before I show you the photograph. Histogram is perfectly balanced really. It's not um it's not clipping on the left hand side, it's not clipping on the right hand side, but it's still stretched out. So we've got a lot of information in in that photograph, but hopefully you can see that there now. Hopefully I pulled a little bit of detail out the sky as well because it's looking nice, you know, with the naked eye. But that's nice. Right, I need to get to the top of Hampsfell. Chat to you in a bit. <laughs> oh. So it's all, it's all kicking off. I cannot believe this is happening. Um, it, it, it's like it's meant to be. Let me explain this to you. This is incredible. <laughs> right. 
So back over, no, let me go back. I've come to this location today um, because I wanted a little bit of a taste of Cumbria, a little bit of a taste of the fell. So I thought I'll come up to a real out, outlying southern fell so I can get views of the Central Lake District and the Scarfell Range um, and all the, you know, the old man of Coniston, all the big names. I am focusing back to Lancashire and it's crazy because I've spent the last few months over on that side of Morecambe Bay longing to be on this side and now I'm on this side that's where it's kicking off oh it's meant to be things like that it's the universe there's something going on like that like all around me all around around me 359 degrees just horrible <laughs> tiny little section there looking back to Gragarith we're looking across Jenny Brown's uh, Jenny Brown's point Arnside Knot um, Looking across to Warden Crag, everywhere that I've been, Carnforth, Kate and Moore up there. In the, it's incredible. This is class. So it's a long lens job. And I'm kind of zooming across um, the floor here where we've got some of these crags and I'm including them. They're going to be a little bit out of focus in the foreground, but I don't mind that. I'm shooting an F6.3 ISO 200 and 1 60th of a second. I don't mind shooting ISO 200 and just leaving the tripod on the bag. This is one of these situations, guys, where I've got to act quickly. I'm shooting at just over 100 mil. And it's incredible. Wait till you see the photograph. The bay, the sands of Morecambe Bay are silver. The most incredible colour of silver. Um, and then right off in the background, um, towards some of the fells, the, the Boland fells, the opposite fells, we've got um, light just spraying it. The sun is spraying it with like just beautiful golden evening light. Here's me banging on about how the conditions don't mean anything. But that proves my point exactly before I show you this photograph because this would have been one of them evenings back in New Zealand where I wouldn't have bothered coming out because I wouldn't have thought it'd been worth it conditions wise. Oh man, let's get the shot, shall we? Let's get the shot. Absolutely. Just straight out the top drawer. I am absolutely buzzing about that. Oh, I've just finished a book called Sandman and uh, it's the autobiography of a man called Cedric Robinson. He's the Queen's Guide to the Sands. Brilliant book and he basically takes people across the sands. It's been done for centuries because it's so dangerous. You go across with a guide and I'm looking across the exact route of that book that I've just recently finished. It's meant to be written in the stars. Unreal. Photography! Photography, man! Woof! Oh, let's get you down here. What a beast, honestly, what a beast. Um, you know what I was saying when I was back down in the woods? Sometimes it's like, it's, it's just more than the photography, probably most of the time, but moments like that, well, it is a moment, isn't it? And I think, yes, of course, one of the big reasons that we do this as, as landscape photographers is, is to capture those moments, you know? In many ways, that's what it's all about. But I feel like sometimes, this is really such a, like a contradictory thing to say, contradictive thing to say. Um, I feel like sometimes the photography doesn't even matter. And I honestly mean that in the sense of like, how personal a moment can be to you. You know, that was incredible. As if I just had that beautiful light all over Lancashire, all of the beautiful, stunning, like locations that I've been enjoying over the past however many months. I've had my first day here in Cumbria, looking forward to it, and it's, ah, love it. Hopefully the image was nice, you know, but that'd just be a bonus. Um, but yeah, what was this video even about? Conditions. Don't let the conditions rule you, because you can come out sometimes when it's bleak and rotten and grim, and things like that can happen, and it can kick off. Please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it comment below i love to hear from you and um thank you so much 
for tuning in. By the way, my print sale, 30% off all of my prints, will be ending soon. <laughs> so if you want to print off me, I'd get in now. <laughs> I'll leave a link to them below. Thank you so much for the support and cheers for watching. And I'll see you on the next adventure. <sighs> Out.